Hey guys, like Review 360 here, doing a review on the uh, Halo Mega Bloks um, ODST Hawk. It is uh, ages eight plus. It's set number nine six eight five zero, and it is three hundred twenty eight pieces. And it is set five in the series, and it is a Toys R Us exclusive. Uh, I picked this up for twenty two dollars, I believe. Uh, it was on sale. Um, so I'm just going to get a book here to prop this up with. Um, the minifigures I'm not going to look into too much in detail, really. Um, or the figures. Um, so I'll start off, you get an ODST Trooper, which is fairly rare. Um, he's got some orange detailing on a chest piece. I'm not going to go too into detail with these figures, because, uh, you guys, I know the, the ODST is really the only rare one in here, and he has a backpack. I don't know if you can't see that. It's really blurry, but... Uh, and he has a blue visor, and he comes with a shotgun, which is kind of a disappointment. I was hoping he'd come with a, uh... A, um... Like a... I don't even know what it's called. The ODST SMG. I can't remember the name. But, uh, he's pretty cool. Um, his hands are pretty crappy, and they the painting on them is really crappy. Like, the painting's good everywhere else, and there's this really crappy, sloppy paint job on his hands. And then you get, I believe that they called it something different. Um, yeah, they call it a Covenant Elite Ultra, so I think it's a little bit different. I uh, think he's got some a little bit different markings on him. He looks the same to me. Uh, he comes with a carbine. Um, they actually didn't just do one flat color. It's actually gray and purple with a uh, really nice uh, painting on there. So that's nice, actually. I really like that. And uh, then you get a jackal. And he comes with his shield, of course. Oops, dropped him. And uh, he also comes with a beam rifle. Or not beam rifle, carbine, sorry. He's a pain in the ass to stand up. Like, it's it's not even... I'm not going to even bother. Um, but yeah, that's it for the figures. Uh, and... Oh, stuck on the strap. Um, start off, you get the, uh, this new lens I have, the camera weighs a lot, so I can, if it's kind of shaky, don't blame me. Um, get the Covenant Ghost here. It's very cool. Um, there's not a whole lot of, uh, detail. It's the same one as that's been in the past, that's like the Arctic Warthog, and, uh, that's, there's a review of that coming up. Um, but, uh, it's got a detail sticker right here pretty basic way better design than the original fell apart these pieces would not stay on but this is it's solid you know you can drop it and it'll bang it around and it won't do anything one thing I did notice though is this this piece here is dark purple a lot darker purple than the other pieces so it kind of looks weird but uh, some stickers there everything you see that's detailed is a sticker and then there's a clear piece so it looks like it's floating I'm not gonna put the figure on there because it's a pain to get on and he doesn't, you can really only put his one hand on it. Um, and then onto the Hawk. The difference, I don't know if there's any difference actually between the build of this and the one that comes with the aerial ambush or whatever it's called. I don't know if there's an actual difference. Um, this is really solidly built. I really like this. I think it looks pretty awesome. It looks kind of like an Apache, like a futuristic Apache helicopter without rotor blades. That's kind of what I think it looks like. Um, I'm going to have to set the camera down to even be able to get at what I'm, uh... Okay. So the wing pieces here are movable. The gun pieces, sorry, under the wings. And it has three rockets, which you can take off, but are kind of a pain. Um, and you can't, like, it's not going to be easily, easily come off. And then on the other side, you have the same thing. Three rockets and the, uh, piece that moves up and down there. Uh, there's lots of sticker detail on the top of this thing. Um, you know, it's basic sticker detail and stuff. And there's like a little, there's the rotor fan thing that sucks in the engine. Um, and there's a back tail piece. It just clips into a knob thing there. And it's, that's why it's, it's supposed to be like that when it lands. And when it takes off, it's supposed to fly like, uh, like that. So, the guns are kind of, and it has two front two front cannons too. It's pretty, it's loaded up, you know. Things are armed to the teeth. But, uh, yeah, it's not a whole lot to the vehicle. It's pretty basic, but it's very cool. 
makes a good uh, escort for Pelican, and it's a good attack kind of thing. It's it's a cool thing to add to your collection. And like I said, uh, or I don't even know if I mentioned it earlier, twenty two dollars is a bargain for this. It's like almost it's three hundred thirty pieces. It took it took a while to build. Um, they're all small pieces. They're not big pieces. So uh, onto the manual here. Same thing as always, you get the front page. It doesn't actually show this set in the front page. It shows the short sword and the pelican is really the only aerial vehicle it shows. Um, and it shows figures and stuff. And then it starts off with the ghost first and then it finishes off with the uh, hawk. And there it shows the point of the backpack. Um, and then this is the back, which is the same as the back of the box, which I'm going to show you. And the back of the box. box is bigger than the Arctic Warthog. Uh, I would say it's, I don't know, it's bigger than the Scorpion box too. It's it's not much bigger though. And it just shows the ghost there. And it's a good set actually. I would prefer a Brute Chopper to a ghost since uh, um, the uh, ghost already comes there. But And there's we've seen ghosts before, but whatever. I... Uh, I'm still happy with this set, and it just shows the specification. See, it says, uh, um, Covenant Elite Ultra, and then it just says, uh, Covenant Jackal and ODST Pilot. I forgot to mention it's Pilot, uh, so yeah. And it is, uh, not green if it looks green. It's actually dark gray. Uh, it doesn't look like it, but it is. So, and it's very annoying. When you build this, uh, these pieces are gray, and these pieces are kind of like a metallic gray. So you have to sort them out and kind of figure out which is which. Also, when I bought this, I got a free, uh, I don't know, it was a Toys R Us promo at the time. A Halo, a blue Spartan, a blue Cyan, C-Y-A-N Spartan. It's four pieces. It gets, comes with two Magnums. I'll show you really quick. I'm going to do a separate video of this, I think, just for fun. Um, but actually, you know, I probably won't. I'll just show them to you here. So, just a blue Spartan. It comes with two Magnums and a brick. Um, pretty cool. You know, it was free. She just gave it to me, so I was like, whatever. It's pretty awesome. Uh, yeah, that's about it. Please uh, rate, comment, subscribe, and goodbye.